All right, so this is module four, lesson 23, homework help. Um, here's the actual homework. I'm gonna do some problems from the problem set because uh, some people did not get time to finish it, so I'm gonna make sure they understand it. All right, so filling in the blanks using one of the following scaling factors. If you look here, oops, sorry. We're looking at something that will make it equal to 3 and 4 tenths. Now the only thing that would work would be the 1. Because you multiply anything by 1 and you get the same thing. So 3 and 4 tenths times 1, even though it looks a little different because of those zeros, is still 3 and 4 tenths. Alright, so now the next one, the symbol is going that way. That means greater than. If it means greater than, we need to pick what is greater than from up here, these two, greater than one. And we should see that zero, one and 21 thousandths is greater than one, so therefore that's the choice that we should make. And that leaves us 989 thousandths for our less than because 989 thousandths is less than 1. Okay? So that's filling in the blanks using one of the choices. Moving on to the next. Now we have to sort them. On the left, we're going to put the products is less than the box number and on the right we're going to put the product is greater than the box number so we're still looking at the scaling factor the scaling factors are here I'm gonna circle them actually let me do it a little neater our scaling factors are the numbers that are not boxed so we're going to compare these scaling factors times to excuse me to 1. If it's greater than 1, then we're going to put it on the right. If it's less than 1, we're going to put it on the left. So I'm looking at this one and I can see that's greater than 1. So I'm going to write 13 and 89 hundredths times 1 and four thousandths on this side. Now, 69 thousandths is less than one, so I'm gonna write that one over here. Just to give you a little bit more clarification. Okay, again we have less than one. So we're gonna do 602 times 489 thousandths is gonna be less than 602. So we're basically just comparing the scaling factor to one. And on this one over here, it's greater than 1. They're telling us that the box number is the original number and the other number is a scaling factor. Alright, so this one's greater than 1 as well. In our last one, the scaling factor of one tenth is less than one. So let me give you an example of what I mean by less than one, or less than the box number. So with this last one, hopefully you remember that when we multiply, it's basically the same thing, but this one we're going to use two place values. So our zero 
decimal zero two is less than our zero decimal two. You see that? This was our box number, and this is the product that's less than our box number. Explain your sorting by writing a sentence that tells what the expression in each column of the table have in common. Excuse me. The scaling factor on the right, on the left, excuse me, are less than one. The scaling factors on the right are greater than one. So that's basically what we were doing, comparing our scaling factor to one. If of course if it's equal to one, then it's gonna be equal. But they didn't ask us on this one. Alright, so we're gonna move on to the next one. To help you out, I'm gonna circle all the scaling factors. Alright, since the four is the number that we're gonna show, this is a scaling factor. Here it's saying the eight tenths is our box number. Okay, so my scaling factor is the other one. That's how I know which one's a scaling factor. Now this time we're gonna compare it, oops, wrong one. to the one and then decide if it's a lot, slightly more than, a lot more than, or slightly less than, or a lot less than one. Okay? So we're gonna start off with the zero, 988 thousandths. And hopefully you can see that it, the answer is going to be slightly less than one and the reason I know that is because excuse me uh, the product is going to be slightly less than four excuse me I'd put the one in there because, and I'll erase that in a second, 988 thousandths is slightly less than one. So let me read that straight through. Four times 988 thousandths is slightly less than four because 988 thousandths is slightly less than one. Your answers are all gonna be pretty much the same. All right? You're gonna answer the same thing. If you pay attention here, you're gonna see slightly less than and slightly less than here. Okay? All right, so let's do the next one. And we see our scaling factor is one and five hundredths. Well, that's slightly more than one. So 
So our answer, our product is going to is slightly more than eight tenths because one and five hundredths is slightly, just a little bit more than one. Again, we see the same words appearing on both sides. Slightly more than, slightly more than. Okay, now we look at the next one and we see that it's 13 thousandths. Okay, I would go with this is a lot less than 1,725. Okay, so just to give that in perspective, if we were to do this problem and multiply it times one tenth, or let's even do it with one hundredths, it would be the same number without the comma, sorry, this is going to be faster, in. and it's going to have two decimals, so that's going to be 17. So just right there you can see that that is a lot less than 1,725. 17 is a lot less than. So our answer is, the reason why, excuse me, is because 13 thousandths is a lot less than 1. You get the idea? We're comparing the scaling factor to 1 again. And that's going to decide how far it is from 1 is going to decide the reasoning. Now we have a scaling factor of 989. Now that's far away from 1. Okay? So it's going to be a lot more than 1 and 3 tenths. Now, again, let's look at it. If we had 989 and we multiply that times 1, we would get 989. So that's a lot more. That's a lot greater than 1, our original. So the reasoning is because 989 and one thousands is a lot more than one. Now don't get confused. Remember the scaling factor is determined by the non number that you're doing that you have on the side here. So because we have this, okay, as our number then the scaling factor is the other number, the 989. Now if we reverse that and we set it the other way, then it would be slightly more. Okay? So let me see if I can do that. So if I said the same thing, 989 and 1 tenths times 1 and three thousandths and I wanted to compare it to the 989 and one tenths and one hundred thousandths then my answer would be different because our scaling factor becomes this and that is only slightly more
than 989 and 9 tenths because I'm going to write it underneath 1 and 3 thousandths is slightly more than 1. Hopefully that's helpful. I'll go ahead and show you the homework. Don't forget that you can pause this anytime and go back and look at it. May the force be with you. Do your best.